Hi everybody, welcome back to the Tech Separate channel. Today, in this video, I'm gonna to show a use case where you would like to fetch the unique values from the business object. So Oracle Visual Builder does not have a inbuilt capabilities to fetch the unique records from the BO, but I am going to show one alternate approach using which you can fetch the unique values from your business objects. So please be with us till the end of this video where I'm going to demonstrate this use case end to end. And before we start, I will request everybody to subscribe to my channel and click on a bell icon to get regular updates. So let's begin. So before I show this demonstration, let us understand the use case. Why do we need to fetch unique values? There may be other use cases as well, but the use case that I receive from one of my customer, that is what I'm going to present here. So here, let us understand uh, you have a application that you have created. Okay. So let us consider you have created an application in Visual Builder, and that Visual Builder application has one visual one business object which contains your transactional data, and there's some application or you have some uh, web page which keeps inserting the transactional data into this business object. And into this business object, you have one column called status. And this status column gets populated with different different values. It may be a success, it may be a fail, it may be an error, and so on and so forth. And there may be a n number of statuses that you can maintain into this PB business object. Now, you have a requirement. You would like to create a web page. And in that web page, you would like to create a table. And this table will be populated from that business object data. And then also, since you will have a huge data, you also need to create some filters so that anybody can use those filters and filter the data. One of the filter, as the requirement, one of the filter must be on the status column to filter the data from the table that you have on the back page. Like when you choose that status and then the corresponding data should be filtered as per the status. Now the requirement is the status filter that you would like to create, it must be a drop down. And that drop down must populate the unique statuses from, from the transactional data. So it can be a, the status may be huge, but you would like to get all the unique statuses from this transactional a business object and populate into the drop down okay so the reason is i cannot hard code all those statuses the reason is there may be a new additional status as well later so if there is a new additional status and you have hard coded it then you have to change your filter so so what is the solution that you can do as such uh, uh, there is no inbuilt capability in the business object as of yet, which allows us to filter the unique record from the view like in the SQL cap in the SQL we have a unique unique uh, keyword which allows us to fetch the unique records but bio does not support the same as of yet. so what you can do so as an alternate approach you can create a new business object which will contain a single column and then you can maintain the each and every status into this business object. So what you have to do, you have to create a object trigger on, on your transactional view, which will keep checking the status value already exists in your status view or not. If it does not exist, then insert the new status, otherwise leave it. And then you can use that status view to filter out your drop down. This is how this can be achieved. You may have a different scenario, but as per my scenario, I'm going to demonstrate how this can be achieved. So let's get into this and let me go ahead and then create a new application here. New application, let's say unique values. unique values okay and finish <clears throat> so let this application to be created and here let me create a uh, one business object let's let's say 
let's say your order okay order data <clears throat> let this to be created and let me create a couple of fields in this let's say order order id let's say string let me create a uh, or amount amount it's a number let me create a uh, order date let me say item and now let me have the data as call we create well right so this is my transactional view so now i have a status column now let me create uh, another business object status and create okay now let me create a field here and let's say status fine now in this bo i would like to maintain all the unique statuses that will be inserted into that status column okay now what i am going to do i am going to use our business rules which i will write into the order data and i will write this object trigger if you don't know how to write object trigger you can follow my previous uh, video you can see the complete playlist and you will find out how to write object trigger let me say status trigger and let's say before insert and create object trigger so here i am going to use this plus button and criteria type will be use custom code okay and before i do this let me create a web application first of all uh order web app and create okay right and here on the page let me create a table and on this table will be populated from the order data let's say id not id let's say order id order date item amount and then status next and finish right as of now no data that's fine and let me create our drop down here select single okay and that should be populated with the status so i will use the add option we'll use this status next label will be status and again it will be valid this search by status or filter by status fine so i can remove this right so this drop down should be populated with a unique status fine so let's go to this order data go to the business rule and here i am going to write this custom code and this custom code i am going to write in the groovy so click on add custom code so here i have a groovy script let me put it here and here definition new view so this is the groovy script and this will give me the complete data from this status business object so the stat the status business object that we have created and here i'm appending a view criteria just like our we are close status okay column and will put the value as a status so whatever status i will receive here i am binding with this value so this status column is in your status table and this status you will get in in this order data so i'm mapping this value and using view dot execute query which will add this view criteria into this view and then checking view dot has next if data is not there with matching status then it will return false as written true true meaning we don't have the status earlier but return false meaning we found the status in this status table 
Okay. If that will return true, then I'm going to add a condition, add action, and we'll use this create record. And we'll create a record in the status. The value will be status. The field will be status. And I will use this expression and order data and then status. Okay. Done. So I am inserting the status into a business object status and the field I chose is status and equals to status. Done. That's it. Now go back to the object trigger and it is active. Now go back to your order data and let's use this data palette and let's try to insert some record amount 200 item. Let's say a uh, mobile order date. Let's say 30th order ID, let's say 1212, status, let's say access, add row, save field, uh, be available in the logs, maybe some issues that, um, okay, so if you would like to see the logs, first of all, what you can do, you can enable the logs from here and use this enable login, okay, and let me try to insert to see what is the error. Amount 200, item mobile, order date, let's say 30th, order ID 1212, and status success. At raw. So I'm getting additional details of this error, maybe available in the logs. Let's close this and then refresh this. Here you see expression fail to build view criteria as the status. So it's using the okay. Let me check the column. Oh, so the column is not correct. STA to US. So the column name column name was incorrect. Fine. Now try again. Amount 200 item, let's say mobile, order date 30, order ID 1, 2, 3, 4, status success. Oh, again, it has failed. No such property. Status for class. Okay. So, I will go here. I will use this. And it. So, okay. Status. The reason is we have just changed it. So, it has removed it. Fine. Okay, done, fine. Now let's go back to the data and let's add it 200 mobile 30 or right one two one two status success add row. The row has been added here, okay. And now if I go to the status, go to the data, you see this has been populated. Let me add one more record. And if you go here, main start page, you refresh it. You can see here and filter by status. What happened? Okay, we'll see this later. Okay, go to the order data and again add a new row. Let's say amount is 300. Item is again. Uh, Mouse, I can say order date is 31st, order ID 1313, and status is again success add row. So you can see we have two rows with the status success. And if you go to this status, you will see only single. Okay, unique. And let's add one more row amount 400. Item is again laptop. Let's say it's 31st, order ID is 1414. And let's say failed. Fine. Now go back to your status and you will see the failed. So we have unique status only. So let me add one more row. 500. Let's say item is math book. Order date is 30. Order ID is 9898. And let's say again failed. Failed. Now, if you go to a status, you will see the status only two. 
Now let's go back and let's try to run this page and see what is this issue here. You can see all those file records. So let me check the issue here. Fill to load resources. Okay, let me refresh it. Okay. So it says 400 preview URL. Okay. So I so I will go to this types. The reason is we changed it. Okay. Okay. So ST. Okay, maybe I will go here. Okay, go to the variable the status list. So key attribute SDA TUS. Again, SDA TUS. Okay, now run this. The reason is we have changed the attribute name. That is the reason it is failed. Huh? Okay, so let me do one thing. Let me go back here, design, go to the properties. Here also, I guess, status. Run. <clears throat> and this time you will find out both the status is here. You see success and fail. Let me add one more order data. 100 item is mobile, order date is 30th, order ID is 344, and the status is error. Okay, now if you go to the status, you will see another one. And now you have to refresh it. And here we see. Here we see we have multiple status, success, success, failed, failed, error. But this is where we see only unique statuses. So this is how you can get the unique values from your business object as an alternate approach. I hope you found this video useful. If yes, please like, comment and share. And please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click on a bell icon to get regular updates. You can follow us over LinkedIn, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook and Pinterest. Thanks for watching the video. Have a good day. Bye-bye.